Meanwhile, the Tokyo Summer Olympics are hanging in the balance now. A veteran member of the International Olympic Committee, Dick Pound, told USA Today that postponement has already been decided. Remy Innocencio reports from Tokyo. Good morning. It's important to note the International Olympic Committee has not decided to postpone the games, at least not yet. But CBS News did reach out to the IOC for a reaction, and they said that every board member has a right to interpret the board's decision. But Dick Pound has a lot of influence, and it's very likely the games will be postponed to 2021. Just five days after the Olympic flame landed in Japan, its future and that of the entire 2020 Summer Games is in doubt. Team USA voiced its support for a postponement, saying in a statement, even if the current significant health concerns could be alleviated by late summer, the enormous disruptions to the training environment, doping controls, and qualification process can't be overcome. It's definitely way beyond sports. Um, it's all about health and safety of not only yourselves, but the ones around you. Team USA sprinter Manny O'Mitchell took home a silver medal in 2012. He says postponing the games would be bittersweet, but fellow athletes getting sick has him concerned. Here I am, a professional athlete. Uh, I could possibly get this and not even know, especially with my immune system being as strong as it is. So, you know, I'm taking all the, pro the proper precautions uh, that, you know, the CDC is putting out. First-time Olympian Kate Courtney is a mountain biker who qualified for the Tokyo Games. She said it'd be a huge disappointment not to compete. I've been riding virtually with uh, Olympians from different countries. I can train from my home gym and share videos on Instagram and see what other people are doing. And the IOC says they'll have a final decision in the next four weeks, but fewer people here in Japan and around the world really expect that any kind of Olympic fireworks will end up over the National Stadium this summer. For CBS This Morning, Ramey Innocencio, Tokyo.